Hi, and welcome to Raw Ivory Motion Design. Today I'm going to be showing you the basics of lights in After Effects. There are three types of lights I'll be talking about today. Points, spots, and ambience. I'll be showing you a basic three-point lighting rig. Three-point lighting can be used in any program, such as Maya or Cinema 4D, or in real life. Here's a diagram of a three-point lighting setup. You can see that there is a backlight, a fill light, and a key light. To create a new light in your composition, right-click in the layer menu. Then go to Create New, go to Light, and select the type of light you would like to create. Make sure that your layer is 3D. If your layer is not 3D, the lights won't affect them. If you don't know how to make your layer 3D, just hit the button that says Toggle Switches and Modes at the bottom of the layer menu and click the box under the cube that appears. To properly choose colors for your lighting, Look at the RGB color wheel to choose complementing or contrasting colors to better define your look. I chose some basic trendy colors, pink and blue, along with a slightly tinted ivory point as the key light. Light options and material options play a huge part in developing your look. I played with light transmission, cast shadows, and diffusions in the material options for my text. As for light options, both spots are a narrow cone angle with a high feather. When you're ready to refine the look of your lighting, under the viewer screen, you'll see a drop down menu that says one view. Click on it and select four views. This way you'll be able to see your composition in 2.5D space at several different angles to properly adjust the lighting as well as getting a look at the way it affects your composition in real time. Once you have this basic setup, continue playing. Remember that playing with your look is the way to get it the way you want to look. Practice a lot and see what you can do with different lighting setups. Remember, there's nothing to stop you from using ambient lighting, point lighting, or spot lighting for any of the lights listed here. The only limit with your lighting is your imagination, so make sure that you really play, really enjoy yourself, and remember that this is a skill that can be used in in post-production and in actual production for video. If you have a better understanding of the way lighting and lighting setups work in the digital space, it can improve your knowledge of lighting in the physical space. Okay, well that was my really quick, super, super quick lighting tutorial. I hope that it was informative for you beginners out there. If you have any specific questions, please comment down below. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more.